Hello there, I'm the biz manager and... Well, brain fart. <laughs> and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Now, today we are going to do something that we have been talking about for a very, very long time. We are going to open the Temporal Tear. The machine is ready to go. Uh-huh. Is uh, fully charged, in fact has been receiving a couple of red bolts uh, necessarily, but the system is about to uh, be closed off, so whatever. Uh, but before that, before we do that, before we press that big red button over there, uh, we need to send our dupes, uh, our builder dupes, uh, over into the planet. Uh, after all, as far as I have been informed, after you uh, activate the temporal tear, a uh, meteor shower will come right afterwards. And uh, I want to have dupes on the planet to make sure that everything is... Uh, it's okay after the meteor shower. I think I have... Uh, Protected the place with a uh, fair amount of protection, but still, you never know. And, uh, well, while we wait on the dupes to go there, we still need to wait on our rocket to return. Uh, because, uh, let's see, where are my rockets? Uh, I don't think it's this one. I don't think it's this one. Where is the other rocket? Oh, it's right there. We need to wait for this rocket to return, because this is going to be the rocket that we are going to use to send through the temporal tear. Uh, I don't want to send my um, colonization rocket. Uh, I, I feel like uh, Nails and Dupes should be on the other planet monitoring the situation, and so uh, it's probably not for the best to use this rocket. We'll use the other one instead. So there is still a few things that need to be done before we can um, activate our endgame scenario. Okay, so first things first. Uh, we need to fill up the cooling loop over here. This is the thing that is going to uh, control the temperature inside of our Rocketeer Lounge. Uh, after all, we can't leave this colony without having this thing fully operational. Uh, we can't trust the dupes to do anything by themselves. And then we need to fill up the uh, system the uh, water filtration system over here uh, with a little bit of water just to kickstart the process and uh, as the dupes use the bathrooms we'll have more and more water. So uh, we need to do these two things first before uh, we even think about the temporal there. Okay, so first let's fill up our cooling loop uh, by connecting this. Let me just cancel any override thingy. Uh, now, as per usual, I'm going to leave a... Uh, um, a few gaps in the loop, just so uh, there is no um, uh, hiccups uh, with this. That's why the pliers mod is one of the most useful things ever. Uh, I wish they made this um, standard, because it's that useful. It's pretty much the only mod that we have uh, in this playthrough. Okay, I think we can cut, cut it off now, that way the pipes are going to be emptied out, and it's almost almost perfect. There is a small gap, but uh, that's fine. Now, temperature-wise, we want this to be active, if above, let's say, 25 degrees. Okay, so for the water, we are going to use this pipe that we are using to uh, supply our uh, storage of water for rocket use. Right, this is the water that we use to resupply our rockets, to send into the cabins, and whatnot. Uh, but uh, we just cut the pipe over here, build a bridge, and then we have this pipe over here that should be connected like so. And uh, we just need to send enough water to fill up this pipe. Go away, uh, not this one, this one going into the uh, build, into the uh, restrooms. And then we can uh, turn off this thing once again. Uh, this is just to deceive the um, automation signal to have the uh, liquid shut off open. You know what uh, would be pretty useful? Uh, to connect the pipes in the correct way. I already made a mess. Oh my lord. Okay, okay, I have the pipes backwards. I c well, I had to make one final mess, right? Let me just fix this rather quickly. Okay, here we go. The uh, mess has been fixed, and the pipes are full of water, which means we can come over here, disconnect that, and uh, reconnect that, and uh, turn this off, deconstruct everything in there. Cool. One final thing is left to be done, and that is to add a Atmosuit checkpoint right there. Do you really need to stand right there to build that? Was that really necessary, Lindsay? You know what? It is time to send you back into the ice planet. 
I think the time has come. Oh, finally, finally, a dupe that appreciates the effort that we went through to give him something nice. Are you enjoying your time at the beach, Nicola? Let's take a look at the light overlay. It's, oh, it's already well lit, so he's getting the maximum bonus. At least I get to see my dupes enjoy this thing, you know, unlike the disco that we built for them that they just ignore. Okay, both dupes are inside of the rocket. It is time to set automatic... Auto, auto, what? Automation control? Rocket... Mm. No. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, game. Frankie is stealing the berry sludge from the um, Rocketeer Lounge. Come on, Frankie, we have plenty on the colony. Why are you doing this? Well, it's doing this because it's the closest source of, um, of food, but still... Um, I'm pretty sure the manager of the lounge is not happy with your behavior, Frankie. Okay, my friends, so uh, the uh, snazzy builder team is already here. I'm not going to activate this until I have the other rocket ready to go. I am unsure if the temporal tear is only open for a certain amount of time or if it gets permanently opened. Uh, but still, I kind of want to be on standby uh, for that event. After all, it's only going to take a couple of... Uh, yeah, two cycles for the rocket to arrive, one more cycle for the rocket to be ready to go, and then uh, we are going to send... I already selected the, the, the dupe that is going to have the honor of doing this, and that dupe is going to be Gossman. It's easier to see over here. Gossman has been one... as Pretty much uh, the three beginner dupes, I'm pretty sure it was Gossman, Abe, and someone else. I don't remember who the other dupe was. I think it was it was either Lyra or Jean. One of these two dupes. Um, so given that Gossman uh, gave so much of herself to this colony, I think she is the one that is going to have the honor of going through the temporal tear and discovering what it is on the other side. And, besides, she is the colony lead scientist. This uh, scientific endeavor could not be taken by anyone else. Okay, so here is Otto with the rocket. Or at least that's what the uh, notification is telling me. Fan-freaking-tastic. Uh, now, the uh, Rocketeer Lounge comes really handy at setting up the uh, bedroom again. Uh, Come on, let's just wait for the animation to finish, so that Otto uh, appears on the list. Otto, you go there, Otto, you go there, and Otto, you go there. You can enjoy all the commodities of the Rocketeer Lounge, because, yeah... Like, uh, me trying to remember whose bedroom is uh, whose is, like, really difficult when you have 20 dupes. Uh, like, I can remember that this is Nail's room and this is uh, Lindsay's room because I just set them up so many times that I remember now. But yeah, the other ones... Pfft, good luck. I have to go through the doors, look at the custom um, permissions to discover whose room is whose. And this way is uh, much simpler, uh, just, you know... Just select one room at random and uh, they are good to go, especially because they should be uh, going back into space in no time. Well, my friends, the time has come. I waited for a brand new cycle so that we had plenty of time to deal with everything. So, uh, first things first. Uh, this bunker door is already closed. This one is ready to go. Uh, so, the second we fire the temporal tear, uh, after the animation is done, I mean, um, we can close it off and wait for the impending fallout. So, oof, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure you want to fire this? Yes, I'm ready for the meteor shower. Well, it would appear that you guys were correct. Thank you for letting me know, because now I am prepared for this. Let's go. Uh... Let's see if the uh, star map has anything uh, to show us. Uh, oh, it, there is no um, like uh, animation in the star map, but that is now open. Cool. Okay. Let's uh, just, uh, you know, witness, witness the rest. Oh, shit, here he comes. Really? I don't even have time for the... Okay. Close that immediately.
Oh boy. Uh, oops, I would probably stay where you are. Okay. Doops, 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 doops. Inside of the rocket is probably the safest place for you, okay? Oh no, they eat the rover! Oh, poor thing! Uh, it's been a long time since I saw a meteor shower in oxygen not included, so it's actually a pretty uh, beautiful sight. Okay, deep meteor shower is done. <laughs> Those things are not yet close. <laughs> okay, okay, it could be worse. Okay, it could be worse. The regolith will fall down, it was not going to be a problem. Oh, we got even uh, some fluorine. And more fluorine, and more fluorine. Some regolith, and some more regolith. I mean, I can't complain about that. Now, can, can we? Um... Flo Florine is, I don't know, always a, uh, a nice resource, I suppose. Uh, so now this thing um, has been used up. Will not uh, close again. Okay, okay. Um, can open this now, I suppose. Let the rocket uh, take its course. But now let's return into the colony. This rocket is uh, already prepared. Wow, Gossman, you are really excited about this mission. You are already inside of the rocket. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, sure. Uh, uh, sure, okay. Uh, Gossman was already the pilot, but uh, I didn't call her in. Uh, Otto, you are not part of this crew. This is a one-person uh, uh, job. Are you ready, Gosman? Are you ready for this great journey that you are about to partake? Let's not change crew, let's change our destination. All dupe salute. Gosman, it was a pleasure meeting you. Supposedly, this is a one-way trip, but... Uh, you never know, they might always come back. Yeah, even Harold is uh, perturbed by this fact. This journey is going to take 6.1 cycles, but that's fine. That's perfectly fine. After all, uh, Gossman is not as, uh, as an experienced pilot as uh, our other rocketeers, but our other rocketeers are not as an experienced scientist as Gossman is. I mean, while we wait, there is no uh, reason not to send more missions into space. After all, life continues in the colony, and uh, work must be done. Okay, so we are mere seconds away. Uh, let's all witness this moment together. After all, it is a great ach uh, ach achievement for our colony. And for myself, as I have uh, never reached a uh, end-of-game scenario. What now? Hmm, okay, so now we must uh, order Gossman to enter the temporal tear. Whoa, okay. Imper imperative achieved the great escape. <laughs> okay, let's see, proceed. <gasps> Beautiful, I must say. We have always viewed the temporal terror as a phenomenon to fear, but like the civilizations before us, the call to adventure asks us to confront our anxiety and leap into the unknown. As a radical action of hope, 
I have sent enough duplicants through the temporal tear to start another colony. Explore dimensions beyond ours and plant the seeds of life throughout time and space. Well, my friends, I am pretty happy with the, with the results because, uh, well, this is the very first time that I have finished the game, in, in essence. I mean, there is three, uh, three uh, endgame scenarios and uh, for the first time I completed one of them and I have seen the end of game cutscene. The infamous end of game cutscene. So, um, yeah, it only took me almost 800 hours, but uh, I finally achieved that, and I'm pretty, pretty happy, my friends. Thank you so much for accompanying me in this adventure, and uh, let me tell you, it was pretty enjoyable. But, uh, like all things... What is this? Temporal tear, rocket debris incoming. Oh. Oh, that's... Okay, so we now know what happened to Gossman. Uh, oops. Let's pretend she's happily living on the other side <laughs> and not uh, torn to a thousand pieces. But uh, in any case, my friends, like I was saying, uh, like uh, all things that are good, uh, everything must come to its end. So um, before we leave the Cosmic Manager's Lounge for good, how about we make a quick overview of our colony. After all, this is one of the most successful colonies, even though there was a couple of tragic events uh, that unfolded, but, um, you know, tragedy and uh, drama go end in end, right? So, uh, yeah, this is our starport, beautifully built with a Rocketeer uh, lounge just to receive our uh, Rocketeer rocket uh, dupes in between their journeys. <sighs> I really like the, the way I uh, set up the uh, spaceport this time, but... Uh, well, I suppose I could have been more efficient on uh, a few other things. And, uh, well, other than that, we had our... <laughs> well, miniaturized version of the... Uh, uh, nuclear uh, power plant. I could not fit everything I wanted in there due to space constraints, but this map was really small. And, uh, well, this colony, after all, was the most luxurious one and took a lot of space. But uh, in the end, the luxury apartments with luxury restaurants and luxury accommodations was totally worth it in the end, because these dupes are pretty much happy all the freaking time. They are also always smiling and the farting sparkles all over the place. Uh, you see, like, just... Magical sparkles all over the place. I have never had a uh, mental breakdown uh, in this colony, so um, like I said, totally worth it. Although they didn't uh, ever use the freaking disco that I built for them and that is disappointing. But I suppose that, uh, well, they have better things to do after all. And down here we have our uh, geothermal power plant. Currently running a little bit low on juice, but uh, after freezing, uh, uh, after so solidifying half of the map, I mean, that is almost to be expected. But oh well. In our other planets, we have this uh, tiny little colony, uh, the uh, oil drilling colony that uh, was maintained uh, very well by Lyra. Lyra was a very good dupe on that regard. Uh, thank uh, thanks. To her, we had uh, always uh, a bunch of oil available to us, although uh, the senior manager over here made a few mistakes and forgot to have sufficient water for that matter. It's not her fault, it's my fault. But oh well. This planet, uh, on the other hand, has been completely cleaned out of uh, everything nice. Uh, there is very few things remaining, uh, other than the volcanoes that we tamed. There is very little reason to return over here. Uh, this planet we never visited, and uh, this one we have our water reclamation pro uh, system, colony, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we claimed enough water um, for our own needs, but there is still plenty of that stuff over here. 
Over on this planet, we have this system up and rolling. The only thing left would be to feed the tree and get the, res the resin, but uh, we needed, we never needed it, so uh, yeah. But uh, we finished this, so um, cool. Now this planet we never visited, but uh, clearly there was a uh, mass extinction event and the uh, Gazimus never respond. They are supposed to uh, come down in a fierce, in the fierce myth. myth <sighs> words are uh, escaping me in a fierce meteor shower uh, apparently that's how, how they are born but um, this map never saw a gas in moves again and uh, over here well this is an abandoned colony uh, health and safety uh, in the workplace determined that this colony should never be returned to as there is uh, plenty of uh, hazardous things in the way. Not only that, there is a continuous meteor shower coming. Uh, I noticed that uh, meteors are still coming from time to time, so um, the dupes have no more reasons to return here, and therefore it was classified as an abandoned colony. And that's about it, my friends. So, um... With all of that said, I'm sure, I sure hope that you have enjoyed this playthrough, and uh, if you are not yet subscribed, please consider doing so to help the channel grow. But, uh, oh wait, what am I doing? There is one final thing, my friends. Forget what I said, okay? Forget what I said. There is one final thing, and that is Season 3 of uh, Oxygen Not Included. Um, like I said, this was the first time that I have achieved um, an endgame scenario, but uh, I don't want it to be the last time. I want to go for the other two uh, endgame scenarios. So next season, I say that we go for the Spaced Out DLC only end scenario, which is the Cosmic Archaeology. Uh, unfortunately, we could not achieve this one uh, due to the um, artifacts being updated mid-playthrough. So... Um, yeah, this one was unable for... Uh, it. it's impossible for us to get this one. Uh, so, yeah, I would like to go for this one next. And, uh, yeah, Season 3 is probably going to take a little bit of time uh, to come. I want to play another game in between uh, seasons. Uh, I've been playing Oxygen Not Included for uh, almost a year now. Uh, well, not in, not in a year, probably six, seven months. Uh, but uh, it has been a long time, uh, so uh, I kind of want to give it a break, come back to Season 3 with a clear mind, and uh, then we'll go after that achievement. So uh, if you have any suggestions on uh, what I uh, should be playing in the meantime, uh, I would be eager to hear. Uh, but uh, should not be something that takes uh, too long, uh, so I'm thinking about uh, maybe... 20 to 30 episodes max, uh, so that uh, I don't take six months. Six months? <sighs> Words are escaping me again. Uh, coming back to uh, oxygen not included. But, um, oh well. I already yapped my mouth long enough, so uh, with all of that said, once again, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode and that you have enjoyed this series. If you have, please consider subscribing and help the channel grow. But in the meantime, this is the base manager signing out. Bye-bye. Mm,